Hey everybody, it's Brian. I'm back in the shop today and I got a great project. Today I'm vapor blasting and Cerakoting an engine case for an unbelievable result. You're just going to be blown away at how great these cases are going to look when they're done. So let me show you how. Super easy project today. Let's get going. So I'm gonna do something new uh, that I haven't tried before on this engine build. In fact, we're building two motors. My wife and I are both building CR85s, but these cases are in really bad shape. I've cleaned them up a little bit, but they're just not in good enough condition, in my opinion, to put back on the bike. Aluminum cleaner didn't really clean them like I wanted, so we're gonna send these two motors off for vapor blasting. So I'm really curious to see how that's gonna work. We've got a local vapor blasting company that we're working with to uh, try to clean these parts up. They tell me they can make these things look like new again. I'm really curious to see, but if it turns out good, we're gonna end up vapor blasting these and then powder coating them, and they're gonna look unbelievably good. So anyway, come with us and see what it looks like to vapor blast some aluminum cases. So the guys over at Houston Vapor Blasting gave me this video where they've got this Motorcraft carburetor. It's just a mess. And so uh, vapor blasting is kind of cool. It uses water and a very fine media of glass bead to uh, blast the surface. So it's not as abrasive as sand blasting. Look at the result. It's just amazing. And that carburetor was a big mess before. And uh, you can see in my engine here too, but the before picture on the right, how bad the cases look and how clean they are on the left side. So I'm completely impressed with how this vapor blasting process worked. I really recommend these guys over at Houston Vapor Blasting and I'll leave their information in the description below. If you've ever thought about Cerakoting your cases, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's not difficult at all, first of all, so you should know that it's not that difficult, you can do it. And uh, the most important thing, like a lot of things you do in painting, is having a clean surface. So because of that, I decided to try something I've never done before, which is vapor blasting. This brake caliper, I'm amazed at how good it looks now. It was absolutely disgusting. And so was this engine, actually, for that part. The whole thing was completely disgusting. So this is a 06 motor. This is the 07 motor. But I just wanted to see, i show you how good this stuff looks after vapor blasting because uh, this one actually looked pretty decent, but this one was an unbelievable basket case. This part too, the manifold was just rotten. I can't believe how good it turned out. So I used a company for this, a local company. I live in Houston. I used a company called Houston Vapor Blasting. They did an outstanding job and they're not giving me any money or anything like that, but they were just fantastic to deal with. The guy who owns the company was super fast. I got these things done in one day and uh, I just couldn't believe the results. So, after we do this uh, Cerakoting process, which is only gonna be done this motor, we're gonna rebuild it using our Wrench Rabbit kit. So I got this from the great guys over there at Pivot Works who own Wrench Rabbit. So we're gonna end up, after we're doing the Cerakoting, doing a complete engine overhaul with this Wrench Rabbit kit. So I'm really excited to get into there. I've done a little bit of looking inside to see what's inside this kit, and I'll be showing you more on that video when I rebuild the motor. But anyway, so today we're gonna clean this motor up, get it ready to Cerakote, do all the masking necessary to get it ready to go into the uh, paint boot. And after that, you're gonna see an unbelievably hot looking motor. So if you've ever thought about Cerakoting your cases, you can do it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it today. So let's get going. So when cleaning metal surfaces, acetone is really hard to beat. It's great for getting off incidental like fingerprints and little grease smudges and things like that. So acetone is also very inexpensive, but it does evaporate quickly. So just kind of keep that in mind. Don't leave the can open and stuff. So, uh, you know, here I just separated all these parts out. And then whatever it is that you decide that you're gonna clean the cases with, just make sure it's a clean rag. Don't use something that's been laundered or anything. I use these industrial style, like paper towels. And you just gotta take your time, you know, go through every little spot, make sure that you get every little nook and cranny clean. And you know, when I got these back from the vapor blasting guys over at Houston Vapor Blasting, I just kept my hands off of them in general. But 
whatever you do, just make sure that you know, go over the surface carefully, get everything nice and clean, and remove any residue or any kind of little bits of lint or anything that are left behind. So once I was done with that, I used this threaded rod to, uh, to bolt the cases together, basically. And this was just in an effort to keep the Cerakote out of the inside of the engine. It's just an easy way to do it instead of masking the, the center line of the, of the crank cases. So, and I'll show you as another benefit that you'll see later. So um, the next thing you gotta do is mask off any way that the Cerakote could get into the center of the cases. So all these machine surfaces, I took my time and masked them all off carefully and uh, did both sides basically. This is the clutch side and then the ignition side as well. And uh, no real trick here, nothing like rocket science, just take your time and make it look good. Once I got the masking done, I go over it with a little file and that just relieves the edge of the tape along the machine surface. It works great. And I've been doing this for years on other things. So just, you know, if you have a file, it works great. Just peel off the excess tape. And by the way, the tape that I use, nothing special. This is just regular painter's tape like you use for uh, interior painting, uh, masking surfaces inside the house or something you're painting. So next is a cylinder and really the same kind of things apply, but I was real careful to pack the cylinder tight to make sure I didn't get Cerakote inside the cylinder and possibly get it onto these machine surfaces and affect the performance of the engine. I just didn't want to take any chances on that. So again, I use the same technique where I use a file to relieve the edges and peel off the excess tape. And then, you know, I just continue taping. I taped up all these bolts, as you see. No trick there. And the same with the base here. So that's the interface between the top of the crankcase and the bottom of the cylinder. Again, I use the file technique. Works great. So this is uh, basically what you do, and the next step after all this, you know, you, you go over everything, you clean it, you mask it, and the next step is the Cerakoting process, and basically, that's where we're going next. So uh, let's move on to Cerakote. So as you can see, I've spent a lot of time masking these cases off, and it's extremely important to keep everything as clean as possible. So these gloves were brand new, haven't used it for anything else. It's little things like even touching potato chips or picking up a dirty towel, something like that, can affect getting fingerprints with grease on your work surface. So be very, very careful when you're doing any kind of prep for any painting, but especially Cerakote. I shouldn't say that, for any painting, including Cerakote. You've gotta be very careful to keep everything as clean as possible. So basically now I've got the cases completely taped off. And at this point, you know, everything is, uh, is ready for spray. So we're gonna set this up outside. I'm gonna set up my booth basically. And uh, after that, we're gonna go to uh, Cerakote. The color that I've decided to spray these cases is something called Sniper Gray. And this is one of the uh, one part Cerakote processes that does not include using a catalyst or heat. And that's one thing I really like about it. It's super easy to spray. You can do it with just a high volume, low pressure gun. And uh, this stuff sprays out great. So. We're ready to go, we're gonna spray some cool Sniper Gray and I think you're gonna like the way these cases turn out, so let's get going. So when you spray Cerakote, there's a few things to keep in mind. One, you have to strain it according to the manufacturer's recommendations, so you gotta have a paint strainer. And I'll leave links in the description that kinda of tell you where you can look for those things on the Cerakote website, along with links to the colors that I use and so on. So I'll, I'll make sure that you have information for that. But whenever you spray, just don't go nuts laying on a thick coat and always work from the most complex and difficult to reach areas first and then work to the broad surfaces next. So when you saw I use that threaded rod, now you see why. So this is a great way to kind of hang the case and uh, not have to touch it basically while you're spraying. So again, I'm working these little nooks and crannies of small spaces and then working my way out towards the more broad surfaces and uh, laying down the flatter coats there. So no big trick to doing this, super easy. It's no more difficult than using a spray can, so don't be afraid. Hey everybody, so uh, I got out there and uh, did some Cerakoting today. I did all this whole project in one day. Actually, and it's still just 4 p.m. So there's plenty of time left basically in my day. I'm thinking about doing some more stuff today. But I masked this thing completely off, cleaned it really, really well, and uh, you know covered all the bearing surfaces. All these uh, holes that have threads in them are not affected by Cerakote. And the surface too, by the way, even though it's been painted with Cerakote, it's a very, very thin coating and I can just sand it off pretty easily. 
So, uh, and again, if you're interested in doing this same type of job, this is the color that I use. It's called uh, Sniper Gray, and it's an air dry color. It's super cool. You don't have to do any of the uh, catalyst mixing. This is my gun, which I've shown on other videos, but there's nothing special about this gun. You know, it's one of these Chinese guns, and um, my compressor also is not impressive at all. It's just a little, you know, uh, contractor type compressor, nothing special. And you run this thing at 20 PSI, so a little contractor type uh, compressor is perfectly fine. So you can see the results, that it looks fantastic. I mean, this thing is gonna be crazy. And the, this cover uh, over the ignition, we're, we're gonna have a burnt bronze cover on this side and burnt bronze on the other side for the uh, clutch cover. So it's gonna look really cool, the contrasting color. So it's gonna be kind of a different look, but I think it's gonna look great. So anyway, doing Cerakote, no big deal. I did this whole job in less than a day and you can do the same thing. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did, I need you to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, everybody has to like and subscribe. It's a rule. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have fun in your garage. Enjoy your time in the garage. Thank you.